Hi all, I'm Ivan. I was speaker at Pirac uh, one year ago, and uh, I wanted to make lightning talk about some something new for me and uh, something new to use. It's uh, about RangoDB. This is a multi-model database. Uh, it's, uh, she talks like a non-SQL database, but they have uh, some uh, graphs. Uh, they have uh, uh, awesome query language. They have awesome many tools, and they all. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's um, a small NoSQL databases. It's a flexible data model for documents. It's a uh, it's a uh, simple uh, documents like JSON. Uh, we can use this like uh, KVL storage. So they have awesome admin interface, and uh, they have uh, another query language, another DSL, and uh, have HTTP interface, and they have uh, very flexible framework, but this framework wrote in Node.js. So. Uh, it's like, it's all about documents. It's documents is simple, it's like JSON, and, uh, but you have, uh, they have a uh, uh, couple fields for using. It's like ID, it's ID, it's name of your collection, slash it's uh, generate ID random. And so it's key, it's the same ID. Yeah, and so rav, it's, uh, a random number of revision of your document. Uh, it's just it. You can uh, insert this uh, another object. You can insert uh, uh, arrays. And you this. The same is for collection. Is collection is uh, object with meta information and like document like this. Like it's about uh, collection. They have uh, two uh, ways. They have uh, like two ways to define uh, your data. It's uh, like a JavaScript way, like first. It's uh, working like the MongoDB, for, for example. It's for example, it's, uh, you can create collection, it's like, and we can use collection as object. Just put uh, indexes, and just uh, create, uh, just get document by idea, just get all document. You can uh, use uh, limiting, you can use associating, you uh, can use, uh, uh, some uh, extract, extract meta information and joining and transaction and stuff like that. And uh, again, we can get document uh, from database as, uh, as uh, your ID because uh, a collection name is defined in ID. Yeah. And it's another operation, it's collection. Uh, as you have uh, awesome uh, indexes, you can have hash index for using, you have uh, awesome is skip list. It's for example, you have a uh, batch inserting or batch uh, updating document, and you should to skip data for uh, for creating, for example, because we, ca we have user with unique data. And uh, uh, this document is another don't match and don't conflict because we can uh, skip the data. And we uh, have another, it's like, uh, it's not hashed, this, uh, I uh, tried to write full text indexes and uh, have another, another index, it's uh, gear information. It's like uh, latitude and longitude. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, another way. Uh, they created a uh, uh, DSL for us. They created like uh, X, like uh, SQL, as this, but uh, it looks like for Python because it's created uh, more guys from Python community. Uh, you can use uh, AQL, it's a RangoDB query language. As for example, for user in collection, like name of collections, you can filter, you can join with some other collections, and you can return the uh, full object or you can build a JSON object from document uh, in AQL. Uh, it's, it's AQL kind of support, support uh, create variables, it's like, well, again, uh, supports filter, joins, and they have transaction. They have cool mechanism for transaction as, as well. Also, they have graphs. It's a transaction, uh, right? It's a couple of words about uh, graphs. It's, uh, they have uh, two types of collections. The one is a collection of documents and another collection of edges. It's a uh, bridge between uh, another collection. And, uh, 
uh, by edges and collections, you can build graph, and they have uh, mechanism and algorithms inside of the methods with using algorithm around graphs. And for Rubist, uh, they have a uh, official uh, official client. It's a HTTP client. It's Ashikawa Core. Uh, we, you can use uh, Fox framework as simple backend with authentication and uh, with caching data. And you can provide uh, uh, data by Fox framework with endpoint. And uh, you can use this uh, like RESTful, like remote uh, RESTful. And that's all. And uh, I really like ROM. And I started working with uh, ROM uh, adapter, but I didn't finish for today. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I hope it uh, will be next month or something like that. At so uh, we have a couple, one or two minutes to questions. Uh, they have be uh, benchmarks, uh, I don't uh, remember how it's work, uh, but it's uh, faster than Mongo, it's like that. Uh, also, we have, they have uh, monitoring tooling in Ambient Interface, and they have uh, b profiling in Ambient Interface. And you work with clustering? Yeah, it's working with clustering. Uh, they focus it on clustering work and sharing. Yes. Uh, which two? Yes. It's the uh, availability might be broke. <laughs> yes, because it's uh, like uh, it's no SQL, it's it's uh, sharing database and but they have and availability. Uh, you can use uh, two from three. I mean, that's all. Yeah. Uh, you can use uh, one of them. Or yeah, two no, or three. I understand why. Because as I see previously, RBNDB inside used Ruby and V8 as backend stuff to work in this own code if you collect, if you compile it from source. And like Ruby plus V8, maybe not the perfect choice for database stuff. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's. Uh, uh, you can't. You shouldn't use this as uh, main database. You can use uh, our another NoSQL storage in your project as like a remote service and something like that. It's uh, much better because uh, they focus it on uh, uh, more on JavaScript and Node.js uh, stuff, and it's uh, when you can you you should use this. Uh, uh, this uh, better to use uh, JavaScript stuff and uh, provide to you Ruby application. Uh, by client or by uh, uh, REST API, build it on uh, Fox uh, or another. Okay. That's it all. Thank you.